what is the section in marker and why do we use it? Very important to understand the symbol, how to identify it, and where to go when you see it. Let's talk about the section view. Okay, everyone, now the section view marker is a very important um, symbol. It's unique in how it's drawn, although there are others that look like it, but it is, it is unique. And the section view marker's job is to communicate with the professional. Now, you'll have a section view marker on the floor plan. You can have section view markers on the roof plan. You can have section view markers on an elevation. And so it really doesn't matter where the marker is. It's all about how you interpret where it is and your ability to know where to go and how to read. And so in the beginning, it may seem pretty difficult, but it's not. The section view marker is going to be placed in a position that makes the most sense. And what is the purpose of the marker? The purpose of the section view marker, and we're looking here for our master the plan for our floor plan series, because our framer needs to be able to determine the height of the wall, not only the building. Right? So the floor plan will give you the height, I mean, I'm sorry, the floor plan will give you the length, but you have to go to the section view marker in order to determine the height of the wall at that particular location. And so when you are the framer and you are uh, measuring all of your lengths of walls, it's probably very smart to measure the lengths based on each of the section views and how the architect breaks down the section view. Because again, they're usually put in very logical locations. For instance, we have a section view here at what is a window, right? So what the architect is telling the drywall professional is that the wall at the window is built this way. And so if I go to, and this is how you read it, right? So the section view marker looks like a detail marker, but the detail marker doesn't have this little sideways hat. Okay, so that is the difference. So the section view marker is very unique. The circle, the little hat, a leg, and this little extension, I call it a foot. And the way we read it and the way we read all symbols of this type is that in order to see, in order to get a deeper understanding of the section view, you're going to go to the number at the top indicates the image or the picture that you're going to look at. And the number at the bottom indicates the page that you're going to go to. And so it's really simple. And so, but again, for the framer, you need to kind of get a wider view of your section view markers because they're going to place them at logical locations. Where I'm the framer, I'm thinking, okay, I want to look at this one because it's going to tell me specifically how my wall at the windows are built. So I'm going to go to image or picture number one on page A426. And then they have another one here, image number four on page A425 at the double door. So the architect is saying, if you want to know the construction at the door, then you're going to go to that section view and all the way around. If you want to know what the wall at the rear of the bathroom, and those are, I believe, wall C's, and you can barely see that. You're going to go to image two on page A426. And so we can see here that the section view marker, the leg of that section view marker is typically going to, always, going to go through the section of wall that it is referencing. And so what I'm going to assume when I'm looking at this is that I'm going to assume the wall at the door, right, is going to be built different than the wall. Well, of course it is because it's the door. Would be built differently than the wall at the bathroom, which would be built differently at the wall than the wall at the back of the house. Okay, and so what we want to do is, again, when we're reviewing our floor plan and we are the framer, we want to make sure we break down all of our walls based on the section views. Okay, and so we'll go to the main section view. So if you had to, in your own words, say what is a section view and what does it do? It basically cuts the wall 
<clears throat> in that wherever it's placed it'll cut it in that section and it pretend that it's opening up the wall in that section and putting you right in between and you can see the interior construction of that wall at that section okay so that's why it's very important again and i can't stress it enough that you measure your walls <clears throat> based on the section view and then you'll have so many linear feet of each section view which will total all of your walls okay so let's look at <clears throat> wall sections and yes <clears throat> okay so I'm the framer now I know the height of my walls and that's very important and that is the the main purpose of the section view is to help you accurately determine the height of the wall at those locations and so I'm gonna have so many linear feet of this section of wall so many linear feet of that section of wall and all the way down and then that way I can have a very detailed representation on how my walls are built and two for the purpose of your material quantity you always want to use your section views as your guide to material quantities so when you're ordering your studs you'll know to order so many that are four feet because the section of wall under the window is only two feet eight inches and so you want to be as close as you can in height for for your stud height as close as you can to the ones to the height you actually need and that's another good reason of course for your section views but the section views again is to give you that interior construction right to show you for the framer and this is to master the floor plan which is typically the plan that the framer uses and so the floor plan we use the floor plan to measure the length of each section then we go to the section views so we can say okay that many linear feet at 12 feet 16 feet 8 feet 10 feet and then when we're in the section view we then come to the third of the views related to construction, and that is the detail view or a detail callout. And why would we need a detail callout? So, when we think about the floor plan, that's the plan we use to build the new walls up from the floor. We need to be able to review the floor plan. That's the plan view, basic of the views. Then we need to go to the section view to give us height and then we go to the last of the construction view which is the detail view and let's talk about what that is. Hey I hope you enjoyed this portion of master plans. Give me your thoughts and make sure to join me next time. There's a lot more to learn.